Cleland Equestrian Club is a labor of love for Aquile Shuri. She and her twin sister Roly were born in Sweden, but they moved to Barbados with their parents at age 11. At that time, horseback riding and caring for horses was simply a pastime, but now it's a business. It started off as a hobby with two horses, but what happened is now then, especially for the racing industry, they used to give their horses to people that wanted horses when the horses were finished racing. But the people were not educated that you need to warm a horse or that you need to give them grain and a huge amount of hay. So we had one horse that stayed at a plantation. And I mean, they could afford to buy the hay and the grain and everything if they knew about it, but they didn't know. So he was given things that pigs eat, like cucumbers, you know, spoiled sweet potato and things. And he was really ill. And so they asked us for help and asked us if we could keep this horse. And it built from there. Sometimes we wake up in the morning. There's a new horse in the yard, really bad condition. Our SPCA will come up to check to make sure that, you know, that we were not the ones starving the horse. Obviously, it's their responsibility. And we winded up with over 20 horses. And we started a riding school. Um, the, the first riding school that we really had was in Applewood. Um, and quite a lot of the people that live in Roach Village used to ride um, and come and give us a hand and everything. It was really nice. So we grew up. Um, a few years in Roach Village and made really close friends and I think really and truly that's where Bajans that are not really exposed to horses and know that it's a sport um, that I think that's where it stemmed from you know that they rode they spoke about it and we had like a lesson like a couple of lessons every day with what people would consider now block men and they were just like real excited that they had something different to do Miss Shuri, who has won several awards in dressage, said her facility has been a big attraction for Barbadians. Really and truly, we've had a lot of locals lately. Like over summer, we've had a lot of locals. And we have locals coming back to ride. And they're like, oh my gosh, we didn't even know that y'all were sat here. And, you know, the ride was so good and the guide was so friendly. And that makes our day up here. You know, the fact that we have a product here that is not for tourism per se. If tourists wants to come and ride, then yes, we are open for tourists. That we are pushing these products 100% Bajan. With many people employed in jobs which they don't love, Miss Shuri said finding one's passion was special.